Hi, it's Paul. Welcome to Senior Project. Well, this is exciting. You guys have made it. You're on the home stretch. And I think you've all been in my class before, so we know each other and should be off to a great start. So it's going to be really fun. Uh, I've got a bunch of potential projects lined up for us. I've got some off-site with industrial partners. I've got some right on campus that we can work on right at our home base. And you're all going to have input on to which projects you want to work on. And so it's going to be a great semester. Now, the scheduling for this course is a little bit different than what you're probably used to. We have a ton of flexibility on our scheduling, but we do need to get together face to face uh, at least a couple times a week. Well, at least once a week anyway, but probably more than that. So right now, I've got kind of two time slots that I think would work best uh, either Wednesday morning or Wednesday afternoon and I think we'll meet in uh, in IT uh, 5 that's the one uh, the one on the left beside Manny and Rye's office so this part's really important go on canvas I think that yeah the course is published get on canvas uh, as soon as you get the message Go to the first module, and right at the very start of the first module, I've got a time survey. And this will take you like 30 seconds to fill out. Basically, okay, first question is Wednesday morning. It's either okay for me, uh, not great, but you can do it, or it's impossible to make it Wednesday morning. Question two, Wednesday afternoon, same questions. It's either okay, it's not great, or it's not possible. And then question three, and that's mostly important if Wednesday morning and afternoon just don't work for you. Uh, let me know what days and morning, afternoon, evening, what works for you so that we can get this scheduled. So get that done as quickly as you can. Uh, for now, I want to meet at 10 o'clock Wednesday morning, unless that's not going to work for everyone. And what we'll do is we'll go over the, the projects and the rest of the course. So the course, it's got kind of a few different components. One component is doing Excel exercises on your own and that's completely online so you can get those done anytime you want. If you're really good with Excel it's going to take you just a couple minutes. If you're having any problems with Excel then it's going to take you longer and we can work one-on-one -on, -one on that and get you up to where you should be for uh, getting out and starting your career. So we're going to do some technical one-on-one -on -one stuff like that. Uh, we're going to do some uh, career development stuff like getting your resume up to speed, getting you set up on LinkedIn if you're not already there and doing some other stuff like that. And of course we're going to work on some projects. So it's going to be a great semester and I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday unless we change it to a different day. So unless I tell you again with a different date and time, 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. See you there in uh, room IT5, I think the number is. Okay, bye. Oh, I guess I should also mention it's pretty important. Uh, there's a lot of uh, COVID guidelines and rules for the campus. One is that we have a an app for KCCD and possibly you've already seen that. So there's two options for this. One is you do, it's called a daily health checker. So every day you uh, go into the app and you tell it your information of whether you've uh, been exposed or been vaccinated and that type of thing. And if you're all good, then you get a green pass. See, I've got a green pass. The other thing you do on it is once you've had your vaccination, you upload a copy of your vaccination and it gives you a permanent blue card or blue pass. And once you have that, you don't have to do the survey every day. But every time you come to campus, you have to either do the self check or you have to already have your blue, blue card or blue pass. And you do that on the app. If you don't have a smartphone, you can do it um, 
on the website and I'll show you how to do that and you have to show me your either blue pass or your green pass each time when you come to campus if you've been exposed then you shouldn't be coming to campus you can't come to campus uh, what else the other thing is the the college uh, council the, the top admin people have put in a rule that vaccines are going to be mandatory this fall so if you haven't had your vaccine then you should make some plans to get down somewhere and get your vaccine okay so it's going to be a great semester look forward to meeting all of you and see you next week